Hey, what's up everyone? Mr. Scumfrog here and part two of my new biopellet reactor by Reef Dynamics. Took another package and you know I really have to say this uh this bubble wrap is freaking awesome. Probably the best bubble wrap I've ever dealt with. Look at those bubbles, you know. That is just so impressive. Uh so that concludes the review of bubble wrap. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, I was talking about the uh, bow pellet reactor. Okay, but in any event, the, the, the bubble wrap, you know, it just goes to show how well this thing was packed. It was wrapped in this thick, heavy duty bubble wrap. And then of course, you know, in the box, Amy, what? Uh, hanging out over there. But you know, this box over here, I'm pretty sure I showed on the first one, all that freaking peanuts and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is the carpet. I'm not a fan of this carpet. It looks old. It looks like something my grandma would have. Um, all faded and nasty. My wife's like, oh, that's how it's supposed to look. Same with this table. I'm like, really? Um, whatever. We're going to convert this into like a little bar room, you know, basically paint the walls, a little chandelier, and little bars. Uh, but in any event, here we go. Uh, the the construction on this is freaking awesome. I will say that, um, you know, this it's a thick, high grade plastic, and uh, in comparison, I have like a two little fishy, like carbon reactor and one with uh, phosphate reactor, and it, you know it does a job, but I didn't want to buy another one, buy a little pump and run bio pellets. you know this specifically for bio pellets the quality on this very thick very nice all schedule 80 equipment uh, plumbing so we have it stands here this little piece we have washers and whatnot and then you can point this however you wherever you want it and then tighten this thing down uh, this is an adjustable pump. It's an Eheim pump. And, give me a second. So I'm going to put this on, but when I, when I do it permanently, I'm going to put some uh, tape, plumber's tape on there. I'll just lightly put this on here so you know how it goes. I want to be careful. I don't want to some real like cross thread things. A little bit weird to do one handed. So I'm not gonna it all the way. So we have these components here. You could put this in the sump and attach this piece, you know, kind of goes down here, it's in your sump, it sucks what? Let me get a better view, a better angle. Basically put this in here, it sucks water into the pump, shoots it down, mixes with the bio pellets, goes back up and it recirculates. You can control it with the ball valve. And then this, you run the tubing back into near your skimmer. Um, you can do that with this, or you could run, run it externally, which is what I'm going to do. You have this little piece here, and this goes here, and this is uh, some large tubing here, or a large connected, this John Guest fitting, I don't know if it's a half inch. Pop this in here, run it in your tank, it sucks water into here and does its thing. So I bought a 90 degree fitting here because I'm gonna kind of run this into the tank and use a piece of PVC and sort of maybe hang it into the tank. You have the 90 degree fitting and have that down. Uh, and then I'm gonna put like a little strainer at the end. So um, the tubing's kind of in place and the strainer just strains stuff from going, you know, into this or something. That's what I'm probably gonna do. Um, these pieces, I have no idea what they're for. You know, I imagine this kind of goes in like this and somehow 
maybe you put this on here or something uh, and yeah I have no idea I'll have to go online and, and watch I imagine it's maybe if you tee off of your pump or something like that well that wouldn't make any sense I have no idea honestly so I'm gonna set my phone down for a second I just want to slightly tighten this on here with two hands and I'll just turn it off so you know I bought some bio pelts as it is I bought vertex brand from bulk freak, bulk freak supply uh, and they are being they're soaking right now and uh, they are soaking there we go okay I stalled long enough they're soaking the vertex I don't know they seem like good bio pellets uh, they're not floating or anything I just soaked them in RO water basically for a day or two but none of them really floated but uh, so in any event I'm gonna run this externally we will walk over to my tank pretty excited about this pretty excited uh, ho 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 Merry Christmas and you like this present can you guess no it's not an egg boiling it's a crack pipe yeah okay uh, that's not as good as my samurai sword I did a couple years ago I put some earrings in this yeah, boom. yeah that's freaking awesome okay sorry had an ADHD moment So here's my tank. It doesn't look this blue. And everything underneath. So hopefully I have enough light over here. I'll do this or something. Um, well, that sucks. But in any event, you can see I have some spacing here. I'm gonna put this like this, maybe in front of my skimmer, you know, so I can at least see the refugium. Um, and I might even discontinue my carbon here because um, really it just kind of takes up a lot of space. It's an extra pump that is. You know, I don't really feel like I have to use carbon. I, I do plenty of water changes, and uh, I could use maybe like a bag of carbon and just kind of throw it in that little, you know, you know chamber over here. You know, um, I haven't figured it out yet. But let's talk about this again. So I'm gonna stack this somewhere like this. Uh, run my outtake here into my skimmer. I'm going to run it right here then have like a little 90 curve it down and then have a 90 degree piece that I'll uh, attach some straight tubing and maybe like zip tie to this little stand I have here. I want to change the stand. I originally made one with PVC uh, but it was just kind of too bulky and I don't know just over engineered. This I made a couple little corners and put them on the inside so I could potentially lay this pump down flat um, and clear some room. Not needed. Uh, and this little stand is the exact footprint of the skimmer. So when I take and clean the skimmer or do anything, it's kind of a pain trying to get it back on the stand. So I might just make like a larger stand that goes down there or whatnot. I, I don't know. But yeah uh, so if I do that then you know I'll have some you know maybe uh, more room to like zip tie the uh, the return because this skimmer you know the, the holes at the bottom where it feeds into it I'll just have that you can go right there my other option there's a little hole down here I don't know why that is there it's probably a drain hole you know I wonder if I could just kind of put it in there and uh, you know uh, yeah, I don't know. So here it is again. I'll take it out. Go back to an area where there's actual light. And I'll just 
just gonna zoom on the tank. Like I said, it's very blue just because the way my lights are right now. I don't run it so blue, but I don't have a white filter on the or white balance on the uh, iPhone. I'm gonna kind of go more SPS with this tank. I ordered uh, some new lights. I'm gonna go metal halide T5s. Comfortable? Okay. So I'll just show you this again. Eheim pump, there's a little adjustment back there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that. Uh, the intake, you plug it in. Ball valve. I like that there's unions here too. You can kind of take everything apart and clean it if needed. This is a high quality uh, ball valve. As you can see, you know, it's pretty freaking nice. You, you turn it and uh, there's little resistance. And I do like the top here. You can control the uh, what's returning to your tank, which is cool. Uh, Nice construction made in the USA. I'll lay this down here so Meatwad doesn't knock it over. So I just have to, tonight, I'm gonna kinda cement this in and you know, I can seal up my joints if I need to do that with some tape. It wouldn't be a bad idea. And get it going. You know, um, yeah, so that's it. The Reef Dynamic. Biopellet reactor. You can go to their website. It shows the dimensions in case you know I was really apprehensive. Like, oh, is it gonna fit under my stand? I don't want it outside of my. Well, I wouldn't mind having it on the outside. It'd actually kind of cool. It's my wife that would talk like that. Uh, okay, she doesn't talk like that. But and you know, if I had, if I had my way, the the room behind the tank, which is our bedroom. I would drill holes in the wall and have, you know, a humongous freaking large sump, you know, like eight foot long and two foot by two foot and grow mangroves and have a copepod freaking community there and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that would be the ultimate man cave. But I digress as usual. So that's it. Roof Dynamics skin. Um, not skimmer, eh, bioplot reactor. Any questions, leave a comment, like it, subscribe. You know how YouTube works, and thanks for watching.